Hey guys, I got the next lettuce experiment going here. I started this a couple of days ago, Saturday, April 6th. And basically what I have right here is all four boxes planted. I've got the first two boxes with the 41838 like I always use. The first one right here has the air pump. We're gonna switch it up a little bit this time and put air stones in this and compare the two uh, side by side just to see how big a difference the air stones actually make. Then I'm going to try the hobby formula from Hydro Gardens, the 10822, and the last box down there is going to have a Fox Farm product. I was still getting a number of questions about how to mix up the 41838. A lot of people were uncomfortable with adding the calcium nitrate to it or the fact that, you know, measuring that on a scale and things like that. They wanted something even simpler. So I'm going to try to go that route and try to make it as easy as I possibly can. This is the hobby formula, the 10822 from Hydro Gardens. The advantage to using this is the fact that you don't have to have the, uh, the calcium nitrate to mix with it. It already has the calcium and the nitrogen built into it. The only thing you have to add is a little bit of uh, Epsom salt. Especially for things like tomatoes and cucumbers, they recommend about a quarter teaspoon per gallon. Most everybody's got uh, measuring cups, the little spoons around the house. Everybody's got the Epsom salt, so that should not be a problem. As far as the fertilizer itself, they go a half a teaspoon for seedlings and one teaspoon per gallon for the maturing plants. This is a very good all around fertilizer right here. Should do fine for growing lettuce and you could also use it to grow tomatoes and everything. Uh, the only thing is the fertilizer content is a little bit less in here than the 41838. So uh, if you were a commercial grower, you would go with the higher rate fertilizer. But for somebody growing at home, if you didn't want to go mixing the calcium nitrate and everything like that, this uh, hobby formula, the 10822, would be an excellent choice. So I got the 41838 in the first two boxes. The third one there is going to have the, uh, the 10822, and the one on the end there is going to have the Fox Farm Grow Big. I had a lot of questions about maybe using something other than a typical water-soluble fertilizer right here. You got a lot of products from uh, Advanced Nutrients, General Hydroponics, the Botanicare stuff. Uh, Fox Farm. I know this is a very good product right here. They also make the Happy Frog a potty mix, which I've heard people speak very highly of. So uh, I expect very good results out of it. It's priced a little bit higher than what I would like to use on a consistent basis because it's a liquid. It's not going to be as concentrated as the water soluble stuff. But uh, I just asked the question right here. How many people would be more comfortable with using it as opposed to the uh, water soluble stuff that uh, I have been using all along? Just let me know down in the comment section how you feel about the Fox Farm stuff. I think it's pretty good. The days are getting longer. Going to be up uh, probably 80, maybe 80 plus today. I need to get my curtains rolled up on these greenhouses to get some more airflow going through here. So with the longer days, the more sunlight, I expect this lettuce right here to absolutely rock and roll. I feel much better about these four boxes than I did with the miracle Grow and the Triple 20 that I used last time. So hopefully instead of having just 12 good heads of lettuce, I'll end up with 48. Now, I have been talking quite a bit about fertilizers in a hydroponic setting right here, but my advice to most anybody would be to become familiar with the NPK, understand what those secondary nutrients are, the calcium, magnesium, and sulfur, understand their importance, and learn how to recognize a deficiency in the plants. When you get ready to fertilize your plants, whether you're doing a hydroponic, a five gallon buckets, a grow bags, raised beds, or out in the garden, before you ever put some fertilizer in the soil, you need to know why you are doing it. What exactly are you trying to achieve by putting the fertilizer in there? Are you adding lime to add some calcium and maybe raise the pH? Are you adding a bunch of blood meal trying to get the nitrogen levels up real quick? There's a whole lot to the fertilizer deal and the more you know, the better off you'll be, the better decisions you will make when it comes time to plant your crops and also to feed them during the growth process. So for this week's radio show, Tuesday, April 9th, over on PrepperBroadcasting.com, that's the one where I do the second and fourth Tuesday of each month, nine o'clock Eastern time, it runs from 9 to 10, about an hour show there. I'm going to be talking about fertilizers. I'm going to go over the basics of the NPK. I'll talk about the secondary nutrients. Uh, I hope to be able to have time to talk about the compost tea, the benefits of using that, and also get into some of the differences in the hydroponic fertilizer here and be able to help people understand the difference between using a hydroponic fertilizer and something that is specifically made to be put into the soil. 
Now I get a whole lot of PMs and uh, emails and things like that, and right now I'm I'm behind. I mean, I'm just way behind on it. Just just not enough hours in the day now. With the days getting longer, my daytime hours, as long as the sun is shining, I need to be outside doing something productive as opposed to be being inside at the computer. So if you have sent me a message and I have not responded to you, uh, Tuesday night nine o'clock, the phone number is three four seven two zero two zero two two eight, and press one. I will be doing this show without a guest, so it won't be a, an interruption to anybody else. If you would like to call in and ask me a question about the fertilizers, gardening, anything like that, the hydroponic stuff, how I built the greenhouse or whatever, feel free to do so. I will stop talking about whatever it is I'm on and I will answer your question. And my thinking is this, I'm trying to share information. A lot of the comments and the questions are repetitious. I get the same one. So if somebody calls in and they ask a question, then I can answer it on air. You know, thousands of people can hear it. Then they won't have to worry about asking the same question. And I can talk a whole lot faster than I can type. When I'm at the keyboard and I'm trying to fill out all these supplies and everything, it takes me a long time to get through that stuff. And one thing I want to ask of all the YouTube people, if you are sending PMs to somebody that doesn't know you, please take off the contact lock. Because if you have contact lock set, on your channel and you send somebody a PM, they cannot respond to you. I don't know how many times I have sit there and typed out a very long reply to somebody that I did not know trying to help them out. And as soon as I click send, it said contact lock is on. I can't get this message to go through and I'll sit there and waste you know, five or 10 minutes trying to answer this person's question. So if you're new to YouTube, look up contact lock, go in there and take it off before you send somebody a message or make sure that they are in your contact list or something like that. So that when they take the time and effort to reply to you, uh, it will actually get to you. So to recap real quick, we got four boxes here planted with the Adriana. I got some red cross and some magenta mixed in to have some red letters for a little, uh, a little different look there just to kind of spruce things up a little bit. I've got two boxes with the 41838 mixed with the calcium nitrate and the Epsom salt. I've got an air pump on this box over here just to check out the difference the aeration makes. We got one box with Hydro Garden's Hobby Formula, the 10822. And then the last box down there has the Fox Farm Grow Big. I feel extremely good about these four boxes. Looking forward to some humongous sized lettuce. And also tomorrow night, Tuesday, April night, nine o'clock Eastern over on prepperbroadcasting.com. I'll put a link down below with the phone number again. And if you have questions or you would like to talk to me about whatever, feel free to call into the show. I will stop talking about whatever I'm on and I will answer your question and do my best to make sure that you fully understand what I'm doing or what I have done. So hope that was helpful. Y'all take care and Lord willing, I'll see you next time. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining, or just downright funny, don't forget to subscribe.